we're trying to go fast and you're coming out here looking all cute. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm this many. I just turned 30, so I decided we're going to feed 30 of my tarantulas in one video, which I think is probably the most I've ever fed in a single video. So I asked somebody to help me. I'm helping. <laughs> Mr. Tarantula Cat is here. He's kind of off camera though. Why don't you want to be on camera? I don't know. Because I'm awkward. <laughs> Here's all the tarantulas we're gonna be feeding, and there is a lot. So if a tarantula does not instantly take the worm, then we are just going to keep moving on. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for it because there's so many of them today, I don't want this video to be too terribly long. But yeah, let's just get right into it, I guess. All right, so we are gonna be starting off with a Gramostola iheringi. We will do this one. <laughs> all right, perfect, good start. I guess I'll give you this one. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what species it is. I used to handle it until one day it molted and then it kind of got like a little weird. <gasps> Eric! <laughs> you went the wrong way. I told you, I don't have a catch cup either. See, it's a good thing tarantula <laughs> cribs have that little lip right there because in situations like that, sometimes they'll just, oh, I need to mist it. This is a Gramostola grossa. All right. That made a weird noise. Squeak. Who squeaked? I don't know. I think it was the worm. All right, come on. I said I wasn't going to wait around, so we're just going to have to, like. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'll let you feed this one. This one's special. I need a catch cup for real. Oh, no. Okay, so this is my T Apophis, the pink foot bird eater. I'm gonna let you take care of this. I can actually see it has urticating hairs on its abdomen that it's been kicking. Take it, take it, take it. I wonder if they can feel its heartbeat. I don't think worms have one. If you poke the worm. I'm not poking the worm, not with this one. <laughs> No, it's gonna take it, trust me. Later. Okay, I give up. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. It's, it's got hearts. Multiple hearts. Oh, good to know. Here, here's the anatomy of a worm. You know, you could literally just pull it up on your computer and just put it in. Why would I do that when I could just do this? Do you know how much work it is? Do you know how much work it is to Google something and then screenshot it and then put it all in the video afterwards? Bugs are disgusting and I don't Oh no, my tea shidori was totally out and now it's hiding. That's too bad. I accidentally ripped this worm so we have to feed it. Here. Okay. You can feed. This is a C. sandiri. Just molted though, so should be hungry. I would put it like right beside it. Like? Just drop it, drop it. Yeah, you gotta move the tongs as soon as possible. Well, hopefully they don't eat their malt. No, I mean they do kind of like chew up their malts anyway. They knew go. what it was. Do you want to get the molt? Ugh. Hurry. <laughs> this one's a skeleton leg. It's my small one, E. marinus. It's got the little turret. It does. So it has two ways in and out, but I see its feet right here. If you want to get a worm, I would like the, the like this little one right here. Okay. That'd be good. Right down the hidey hole. Yeah. It's fine. It knows it's there. I'm not spending all day on it. <laughs> we have some more little ones. I guess let's get the little ones over with. All right, I'm gonna just feed these ones really quick because I don't think that they're gonna come out. Right here we have my emerald skeleton leg. I know, whoops. Oh yeah, I accidentally scared it so it's like hiding even more. You can feed this one though. This one is my mature male pumpkin patch. Hiding right back here. <laughs> I don't think he likes that one. Oh, this is one. This is my grandma Stola Aestion. Yeah. Awesome. You gotta say <laughs> bam like Rob. Bam. Bam. <laughs> he actually knew Rob C before I even had tarantulas. I met Rob C 
twice. First time I met Rob C. If you don't, Tarantula Guy 1976. First time I met him, I had no idea who he was. And then later on, when I started keeping tarantulas and doing YouTube, I added him on Facebook and he was like, hey, I know your husband. He fixes my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, awesome, will you come do a collab? And he did, so. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this one's really pretty, but I don't know if we'll get her on camera before she runs. So she just molted. Check her out, dude. It is insane. This is a blue dwarf beauty or D diamond tenensis. And I believe she is a mature female at this point because she's grown a lot and they don't get very big at all. I'm gonna do my fingers. It'd be bad. Okay. Oh. All right. No, 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 ma'am. Here. There we go. Do you see that? <laughs> she's vicious. But yeah, she looks great. I'm so glad she molted again. So this is a Pamphibedius species, Machala. Enclosure is quite dry. It's been really hot in here with the heat on, so I need to like kind of watch that. But here they are, and you can go ahead and grab one of the worms. Right in front or behind? Yeah, right there's good. Awesome. Good. I know. Panthavidius, you can always count on them. All right, for mine, I'm just going to do this one because I don't think it's going to really eat on camera. This is my Samopeus Pulcher, and I'm just going to do that. <laughs> and quick little... It's like, nope, nope. Okay, this one's not going to probably come out to eat, but it's my Lazadora Parabana. And um, if you just want to like, no, this, this is a boring one. I'll just do it. Just taking like the size worm, just boop. Gotta get off my finger. You'll get us both killed. <laughs> this is my H. chiliensis female. She usually doesn't eat for like a while. So I really doubt she's going to take it on camera, but just wanted to include her in the video. She needs to eat anyway. See, she's always scared of them. It's like, not with rain. Not today. Sorry, girl. So pretty. Are we going for a walk? Because I really don't have time, ma'am. <laughs> We're trying to go fast, and you're coming out here looking all cute. She's like, you made my cage all wet. I know. You gotta go. You gotta go back. <laughs> She's like, I know which way. We're stuck. <laughs> We're stuck. I was like, he's going up for a walk. I know. She's like, it's time for a walk. Okay, there you go. Okay, find your worm. Eat your worm. Grand stole polka. We'll just do a little worm. Wink. Still hungry. All right, we're not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> this one is my little curly hair. Oh no, where are you going? <laughs> Sorry. No, it's working. <laughs> Perfect. Vicious. So this is my blue fang who was out, but now it is hiding and that is just too bad. I really wanted you to be in my video more than just your foot. Look at Bowser though. Bowser thinks- Oh, Bowser wants some food. I know, Bowser wants to eat these worms and these tarantulas and us. Well, this is one I didn't expect to be out. This is my Saracopoma rubronitans. I talked about them in my last video. Surprisingly, she is out and about, so let's go ahead and try feeding her. You can do it. She has a pretty mean feeding response, so keep the tongs away from her. <laughs> Wink. Nice. Crouch. Must have been hungry to be out like that, or thirsty. One of the two. I'm 
moving along. I'm gonna knock out these arboreals. Some of these arbo arboreals pretty quickly. I'm not expecting any of them to come out. This is my A. Purapua. Hiding right up here. And just gonna do a quick mist. I don't think it's gonna come out, so I will just put the worm on the cork and Bye bye Here is my new avicularia, avicularia, who has done some impressive webbing. I'm actually really loving it. Beautiful tunnel. Dude, I know, look at that. Isn't that so cool? I just got this one like before Calypso passed away and when I knew she was like going downhill, I wanted to get another avicularia, avicularia. And so this is the one I picked up and like, look at this webbing. I am like super duper impressed, I love it. It's just like crazy webbing everywhere. And it's like so light and fluffy too. Just looks really cool. Hate to ruin it because she kind of did it on this side a little bit, so. And just slide that in there <laughs> for later. Here, you can feed this one too. Or not. Ugh. They went right into the coconut. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to get the boring ones done so you can do the, the cool ones. This is my, um, I just rehoused this one and it's enclosure already looks freaking crazy. This is that weird homeoma species, blue. And like, look at this enclosure. Like that is insane. It just did all that like within a week, I feel like. It took all those leaves and webbed it all up. This is kind of left alone, but. Right in front or to the side? To the side, I guess. Oh, I kind of squished that one. Or oh, he's got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> there you go. Vicious. Cool. Okay. I think after this one, the rest I have are like bigger. So, this is my Brachypilma Hamori sling. Little one, yeah. That would be good. Oh, too far. <laughs> wow. <I'm> scared. <laughs> it's food for you. Ta da! All right, so all we have left are some larger ones. I guess let's do, whoop, let's do another Hamori. Actually, my only female Hamori confirmed because Peach has turned out to be male. Oops, sorry, girl. Go ahead. Oh, that's probably not a good spot. Oh, that's a good spot either. <laughs> we'll try just right up in front. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, this one is like hanging out on the top. Always look at the top because I almost just. Poe sleeping. Poe. You just making puppy sounds. Poe. He's sleeping. Poor man. It was a weird noise. Dream killer. Anyway, <laughs> this one is up here really trying to get up. I know, and I'm gonna be honest, uh, it's my Afonopelma stradarchi, something like that, ebony, um, vicious. She threat poses worms, so I would love to see her eat. Oh, that's more right see. on top. Let me see, let me see. There she goes, she threat poses, look at her. I'll mess you up. Look at that. Teeth. Vicious. Why are you like this? You want it? Ooh. Okay, so this is my green bottle blue. She just molted, so she has not eaten since before her molt. She will for sure eat. Oh! 
I don't know about this one. <laughs> Carabina Versicolor. Okay. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes it's easier if you want an arboreal to eat for you. Like right away. So delicious. This is the scary one I was talking about. The pokey? My P Metallica. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the there he goes. Oh, you make me nervous. <laughs> you make me too nervous. All right, we got one more. You remember Clover it used to sit on our... Yes. Out there, but now um, Bruja is up there. Okay, so... <laughs> Thing with Clover is that her butt is pointing right at us, and her favorite thing to do is to uh, kick hair. Just check out, check out that pink color. There's the mole. Just snatch the mole. Make sure you drop it. <laughs> it makes me nervous because she'll grab the tongs. She's a big one. She's got some reach. Oh yeah. She's also got like really itchy, urticating hair. So that's why I don't even really want to mess with that molt because her urticating hairs suck. But yeah, there we go. But yeah, so that is all 30 of the tarantulas I wanted to feed today. Thank you so much, Mr. Tarantula Cat for helping us. And you did such a good job. Wow, look at you. Not awkward at all. No, it's not awkward. I'm awkward. So I'll just look at Eric. All right, so anyway, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget, I have an Instagram video is probably way too much. It's at torrential.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet pics. No, you say it. Bye bye No. <laughs> and let's get into the Patreon pet pics. And let's get into the Patreon pet pics.